What is up guys, it's Martin here. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys about three apps that I use on the daily to boost my quarantine productivity. Some of these apps I have actually used for a long time and some of them were especially useful when I'm trying to learn a new concept or study something that I'm trying to learn at that particular moment. So this will be a different style of video than the ones that I usually been um, doing lately because I'm gonna be showing you guys actually the recorded desktop versions of it and even the mobile application that I'm gonna save for the end so you guys can see what it's all about. So without further ado, and if that sounds interesting, let's jump right into the recorded screen. So this first app that I wanna show you guys, it, it's actually called be focused, which is pretty much based on the Pomodoro technique. I'm sure some of you guys might already heard of uh, this type of uh, productivity tool, but I gotta um, tell you guys that it has been so useful to me, especially when, when I was studying. And this, what the Pomodoro technique does is you have uh, increments of 25 minutes of pure work and these 25 minutes can be flexible of course but the, the technique itself it's only uh, defined for 25 minutes of pure work and then uh, five minutes of uh, interval so you can take a break relax go for, go for coffee get some fresh air whatever this app in particular actually lets you it's actually defined uh, by default to do after five Pomodoros and what I mean by this is after you complete five to five 25 minute uh, Pomodoros, 25 minute chunks of time working, you are actually entitled to a 15 minute break instead of a five minute break. As I can show you guys here, uh, if you go to settings, you can actually set up your intervals, like I said right here, your interval duration, your short break duration, and your long break duration, as I was talking about earlier. Between between 25 minute chunks, you get a five minute break. Each five Pomodoro's you complete, you get a 15 minute break. You can adjust that as you go along, but this is a pretty good uh, way to start your uh, implementation if you want to do, do so and check out this uh, way of working. I gotta tell you guys, this helped me a bunch because when I, when I had to buckle down and actually complete an assignment that I was supposed to do, I was always finding myself distracted about doing sort, uh, all sorts of things and too many things at once. And I could not usually just buckle down and focus on that particular task. But I figured that, well, why don't I try to actually do this? And once this time, the timer starts, I will just complete devote myself in full to what I'm doing and let's see where this goes. And what happened was that I was actually managing to complete those 25 minutes and every time I felt like giving up that, that break, that, um, that chunk of time, I actually thought to myself, well, it's just a couple more minutes, I can do this. Like, it's not impossible and I can at least finish what I'm what I'm doing at that particular moment and what happened next was that I was finding myself skipping breaks and actually making two maybe even three Pomodoros at once and so all of a sudden when when before I couldn't even complete maybe like, like a, a 10 minute full uh, or 10 minutes full of work I was actually doing a, 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 a an hour and a half of, of it thanks to this so this was completely worth it for me. It's a free app you can check on the App Store and there are plenty of things like this for Windows and even in browser options. So if you think that this will help you guys, I really suggest you to check it out. Okay, this next application that I want to show you guys is actually called Notion and let, let's be honest guys, I'm gonna tell you this, Notion was a complete game changer for, for me. Because what Notion does, and I can show you the loading screen as of now, what Notion does is is this. When when you are trying to just do some uh, organizing, just some note taking, or pretty much trying to condense all your activities, all your thoughts, all your uh, notes from uh, from school, from work, anything it might be, Notion has you covered. With, with Notion, 
you can actually organize projects you can uh, you can organize scripts like like him like i did here my my journal technique video they could they you can check out also uh you, you can also choose from among a, a great variety of templates and this is this was pretty useful to me for college as well as um, filmmaking and as you can see here they have a lot of templates that you can choose from everything from design and education as you can see here to product management and sales and for example if you are taking notion into account or a more personal note you can you can do anything with this from notes and drafts to goal accomplishing to journaling as i was talking about earlier to pretty much anything you want and even in engineering and that leads us to everything from project planning to spreadsheets this is a very a very complete tool that has some capabilities of microsoft excel for example not as complete of course but those for for those basic things notion has got you covered so for example i'm going to show you uh, this template which is for example a reading list so for this reading list you got your your page so this this notion works like this you have pages and then within pages you can have topics to other pages where you can write pretty much everything you want and as you can see it's very text rich and even has a dark mode which is uh, pretty nice and for example let's see right here you can do this spreadsheet like workflow like you like i can show you right here and you can even add you can add pretty much everything to the pages within those pages you can add labels like we, as you can see here statuses and pretty much you wish to to add for example it's called a property and this property type will be status but this was the the default naming that was given to it this can be anything like a text number a person a file a checkbox an email a formula a roll up as you can see notion has got you covered in everything the customization on this thing is completely incredible i have yet to experience another application like this and you should definitely try it out for yourself if you're um, usually managing a project managing teams working on organizing your daily tasks your projects or research it's pretty complete it's pretty awesome and even if you do engineering or any science related work this can actually actually help you in managing your team yourself your notes and even your posts if you're doing uh, filmmaking like me or blog posts or uh, have an online presence you should definitely check notion out this was like i said this was a complete game changer for me and if you want to know more post some links down below so you guys can check out their website and you can download this application for mac os for windows and for mobile and this stays all synchronized guys and lastly you can actually do and, and go ahead and have a premium account with this if you have an university email or a work email that is compatible if you create an account with that specific email you get a full membership free uh, for one person if you are trying to link multiple teams not in that case you would need a, a pro license like an enterprise license i think that's the name but if you join with a university email like i did right here I actually have a personal education plan which is a premium of the free plan but with the free plan you can do plenty of stuff so don't be discouraged you can go ahead and try it out for yourselves let's jump to the next app i'm gonna pass to my mobile phone recording and i'll see you guys in a bit this next app that i want to show you guys it's actually a habit tracker app and it's an ios app but i'm pretty sure there are similar applications for android phones so don't worry about that and it's called strides without further ado let's jump right into the app i'm gonna open it right now as I, and as you can see i have these two habits currently which is uh, the read 10 pages every day and meditate every day and as you can see it is organized by days but you can also take a look at the dashboard view where you can see all your trackers in order of your choosing and 
for example, uh, you can mark in these circles if you actually did it in that particular day or not. And if so, it will even notify you about streaks. And this day, uh, if I do it this today, I will achieve a two day streak, which is kind of encouraging, but you know, it's kind of nice to have. And if you actually didn't do it and I pressed it by mistake, you can actually delete last log and then you back to normal. So let's jump into this particular habit, which is the my meditation habit. If you click on it, you can see I have my 53 day streak. And if I click on it, as you can see, I actually have a percentage of uh, my, my goal that I have met so far. And since the start of 2020, you can see I have met this goal about 91% of the times. And I have a current streak of 53 days. And then my best streak is 53 days so far. So this allows you to keep track of your habits. And when you see those streaks and when you see those habits written down on your phone, it's less likely for you to actually give up on those habits and so it allows you to get a sort of momentum that I was talking about earlier in my other video and will increase the likelihood of you actually completing that specific habit. So this was this app Strides, be sure to check it out on the App Store. So that's it for me today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I know that during lockdown it might be hard to keep up with your uh, daily tasks but I hope these three apps will help you out on that process. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe for more because I'll be dropping new videos every week. And if you know any other apps that might be useful to us, be sure to share with us in the comment section below. Until then, I'm Martin and I'll see you guys on my next video.